Well, happy Christmas to everyone. You've caught me this morning um, getting something for Christmas dinner. Um, I forgot to get last night some um, Brussels, no, not Brussels sprouts because the Brussels sprouts have failed. I've uh, come over to get a few parsnips from my uh, raised bed. But I've also brought over a few more bags of leaves, as you can see there. And I've also got a couple there. So that's six more bags I've brought over on Christmas Day, which is uh, not what I wanted to do, but needed to be done. But what I am going to do is um, see what the parsnips are like in there. So, uh, no further ado, I'll crack on and see what they're like. I have got some parsnips back at the den and also carrots, which I've taken out of there. Only a few, not that many, because, uh, yes, I have a big appetite, but don't need that many so what I've come over to do is uh, see what the parsnips are like I have got reserves but uh, I want to have them from the plot this year but before I get on with that I would like to say a big thank you to everyone that's joined the channel this year and hope you have a very safe and wonderful Christmas and New Year I will be doing a video for New Year as well, but also a special mention to all my uh, subscribers in North America. I hope you're staying safe with the uh, weather that you're getting at the moment. It looks horrendous. Nice, but it looks horrendous, but do stay safe. So let's crack on with seeing what my parsnips are like. Wish me luck. Now, before I uh, show you the uh, parsnips, I, uh, well, I thought I'd uh, add a bit more to the uh, path here. And as you can see, I got quite a bit, but I'll show you some more later in the video. Yeah, and that's about uh, six more inches on top of that, and I have firmed it down but it's a lot better because it is a lot more wood than leaves as you can see but let's uh, crack on with um, showing you the parsnips hopefully they'll be good fingers crossed yeah I have got them crossed because I don't want little ninja to be upset Hope he won't be, but uh, you never know. Wish me luck. So let's crack on. Well, here we go. I've uh, pulled up five. I've got about 20 left in all there. And looking at the ones that I've picked, not long, but uh, they're quite fat at the uh, neck of the uh, parsnip so they'll do they'll scrub up really nicely there is one there with um, quite a long tap root which got going but just didn't fatten up further down so to about there but they will be nicely uh, welcome back at the den and all I've got to do is just clear them clean them all up which well, shouldn't take too long, just a little bit of mud. I have grown parsnips in the past where the mud has not even fallen off, even when I've washed it. So uh, that's a Brucey bonus. But uh, I'll need to, in the next few weeks, kind of like get all these uh, parsnips up because this next this coming growing season in here will be an extra layer of uh, 
sides, well, another pallet collar and more compost. And the compost I'll be getting from that one because that is completely full with black gold because I've left it for a couple of years and it's uh, ready to go. So what I need is a bit of black horticultural plastic, another pallet collar which I've got back at the den which I'll place on top and uh, fill it with all that compost and also some uh, wood ash and uh, a few other ingredients which I'll do in the new year and I'll show you that in an upcoming video but uh, the parsnips I'll do for next year will go in here where I've got, always had my carrots just to change things up and uh, in there is nice loose compost so that actually might be better for my parsnips carrots do really well in there so time for a change I think in there but uh, yeah let's crack on with the uh, last few more bits I need to do and just to show you while I'm over here before I uh, get on with uh, the Christmas dinner which won't be that much because there's uh, I have a special guest but um, yeah let's crack on with the rest of the video and the last little bit of the video today on Christmas Day is I've managed to uh, get myself some more wood chip in some heavy duty bags just to keep them well try and keep them dry but uh, had another wood chip delivery the other day and I thought cra crack on and uh, get um, some more wood chip and this wood chip will be used in this area I want to get on with this area but it's been so wet it's totally pointless but um, if you've uh, liked the video while you're eating your uh, Christmas dinner please do smash that like button and the uh, subscribe button and also the notification bell and there's uh, loads of birds around white and feeding and I do try and feed the birds in the winter time over the allotment because uh, there's a lack of food for all the wildlife and I'd rather feed the birds than feed the uh, rats and um, foxes but uh, until next time hope you've had what you've wanted this Christmas I certainly have and I'll be showing you that in an upcoming video that I've got that uh, Father Christmas got me quite an interesting couple of bits and one of them is ideal for leaf mould well I think it is uh, I've got to work it out first and also another thing that I used in the past and I had it bro I broke it many years ago and I've managed to get hold of something else so uh, that'll be in another video but I can only use that when I've got a certain piece of wood so uh, until then stay safe especially all the subscribers in North America and I'll see you in the next video from a very sunny Christmas day and it's warm as well sorry to say no snow I wish I had some snow so I could collect some more in those buckets but until then this is Paul sending everyone a Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the next video on the Little Red Ninja Allotment channel bye for now oh let's get back for that uh, roast dinner
Ooh, yum, yum.